Kyle Pitts. Uh, I've been seeing his name rise up the draft boards at the tight end position. What, what is it about him that makes him so special? You know, I mean, one, he's, he is a, just a phenomenal athlete, you know, and, and he's a guy that, uh, you know, plays tight end and he's, and he's, and at a solid tight end, you know, I mean, he's going to put his face in there. He's going to block, he's going to cover people up. He's, he's not going to be an extra offensive lineman. You don't mistake him for that, but you can move him around and he might be the best X receiver I've ever coached. And he might, he's, he's the best tight end I've ever coached. And so you just can move him around to all of these different spots on the field because he has great length. He has great athleticism. He has unbelievable ball skills and body control in the air. And, you know, and, and then people forget he, he just turned 21 years old. I mean, he's, he's this young kid that still is growing, developing, uh, but he loves the game. He works at the game. Uh, and, you know, I mean, and he's a high character great kid that comes in ready to be his best every day and push himself. And so, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I still think he has so much growth and develop ahead of him because he's still so young and uh, uh, he's going to be a special player at the next level. He's fun to coach. I'll tell you, you want to go design a game plan. It's awful fun to have a guy like that, that you can move around all over the field. Coach we've seen in years, right. And, and you've been around it coaching college football and, and urban Meyer is, Obviously, uh, someone you worked alongside of, his offensive coordinator, you know, mentor, whatever you want to call it. And we kind of know what Urban is on the college level. It's a big adjustment, as we all know, in the NFL. What adjustments does Urban need to make in Jacksonville to be successful? You know, I, I think it is. One thing that Urban does is, has unbel- is a great motivator. Uh, has great relationships with the players and has the ability to get the most out of his players. Uh, And, you know, I I think one of the things uh, it is adapting to the pro athlete over the college athlete. And, you know, now I think once he adapts to that uh, and he starts building those relationships within the team. And I think, you know, this as, as, as a pro player, Hey, you want a coach that is going to help you become your best. Right. I mean, I, that, that's how I view it. Right. I mean, and, and now urban's going to be able to, I think he'll do a great job adapting to that of, you know, of helping these, the NFL player become his best and maximize his individual talent while joining and being the most and getting the most out of being on a team and having the opportunity to go win a championship. Now, I think the development in college is a little bit different. You know, the development is everything. You're getting them to class. You're getting them a degree. All the off season, you're around them. They're all training together here in the off season. You know, I think that 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 making that uh, adaptation that it is, and you don't have that con- total control over every aspect of every player in their growth and development. But I think once he, they, he, they figure out how that dynamic works together and the players learn that, hey, here's a guy that is going to work as hard to make me and get the best out of me every single day, I think he's going to do fine and, and that team will thrive. Coach, we got 30 seconds. So this, I'm sorry this has to be quick. We got to run. The other day we were talking about the top 20 quarterbacks or the top quarterbacks in the last 20 years of college football. And Key did not have Tebow in the top five. Yeah, that's not real smart. I think he's probably, if you look statistically, he's probably the best college football player in history. Uh, it's hard to argue with his stats. Now, I'm not saying the, the greatest quarterback and compared to the NFL, um, you know, that way. But it's hard to argue if you look at his college career with a three-time Heisman finalist, Heisman Trophy winner, two-time Davey O'Brien, two-time Maxwell, two All-American, two national championships. Hard to argue with his college career not being the one of the, one of if not the greatest college career in history. What the hell did you think the coach was going to say? <laughs> he coached him for crying out loud. Hey, I'll say this: I still coach players that are much, that that are as a football player are better football players. <laughs> but I will say this: it's hard to argue that anybody had a better college career. Than him. Well, try to tell him, coach. I hey, man, to tell him. I put Matt Leinart at the top. I went to USC. <laughs> Not even and, top and five. I, and I would argue that my Trojans' best team would have beat those Gators. So, but still, that, oh, not even a top five, Dan. This is what I live with on a daily basis. Cam Newton. I think. I, hey, I think. I think either one of the national championship Gator teams would have welcomed hey, that matchup. Hey, any day. Hey, hey, Tell coach, him, Dan. Hey, Coach. Cam Newton was in there. <laughs> Vince Young was in there. Yeah. Joe Burrow was in there. Uh, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun hey, Cam, Watson Cam was Cam in there. Newton, Matt I had, I had Cam. 
I had Cam Newton in the same quarterback room as Tim Tebow. How about that? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. At the, I was coaching both of them. Now I will say this: Hey, I, Cam is an unbelievable player. Cam could be more. I think Cam could be more talented. Is a more talented quarterback. You still can't argue that Cam had a better college career than Tebow. It, you, you can't. Peyton, you know, Peyton Manning might be one of the great quarterbacks ever to play the game. He didn't have as good a college career as Tim Tebow had. Yeah, so, he, wasn't, he wasn't in my top five. Yeah, Thanks I, for speaking facts, Dan. I appreciate <laughs> but you. But doesn't mean he wasn't six. <laughs> oh, jeez. Doesn't mean he wasn't Stop six. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Bottom line, when it comes to the word accomplished, I think Dan wins that argument game, set, and match. Oh, he's the coach. He coached him. <laughs> he did. He's recruiting on our show right now for the next one. Yeah, that's called smart. <laughs> yeah. Strategery. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.